following video quickly demonstrates how Leica TRK data can be imported into Enforce and what we can then do with it subsequently. What you're about to see was all extracted in about four hours, some through auto extraction means and some through manual digitizing. Once the point cloud has been imported, it has its own section here. We can control the size of the points. We can control the rendering mode if necessary. I could have put that to normal. And then if I just control click, I can zoom it. Okay. So you can see that there's some information already in here. And if I make that always visible, there we go. Okay. So if I turn the point cloud off, give the background a bit of a, there you go. Okay, so this is the data that was extracted in about four and a half hours. Uh, currently, you can see all the vector information. If I unhide the ground model, you'll see that. Okay, and it's currently got a, an opacity on it, so we can see through to the point cloud. If I tick here, show images, show the location of the images, I can click on any of those, and it'll take me to it, and I can obviously then see all that information overlaid on top of the scan. So Enforce has multiple views. You can edit and manipulate the data in the 3D view, which is what you see here. But if I switch to the 2D view, which is what you see here. Okay, so Enforce is a survey mapping and modeling package that shows the data in a 2D view, a 3D view, and also in a spreadsheet view. Because at the end of the day, we're just picking vector data and it's the code of the point, the prefix here that tells the code table how to draw this information. So a lot of this information is drawn as soon as I move the mouse, it's already drawn from scratch. So anything can be changed at any time you like. To help the extraction process, I also turned the point cloud into a large image. So here's that image here. Okay. And you'll notice that I've removed the buildings. Removing the buildings was done by using our ground extraction tool here. And what it basically does is it regroups the ground data so that if I was to go to the group section here, expand the groups, if I turn them all off, Everything disappears. If I turn the row data back on, you can see that's there. So if I now hide, okay, so we can then use that view to create high res geo referenced imagery to then trace over uh, in the 2D view should we need to, because sometimes that's a lot faster than doing it in the 3D view. But everything you see in the 2D view is fully exportable into AutoCAD. So here's the same data in AutoCAD. As you can see, however the data looks in Enforce is exactly what you get in AutoCAD. Subsequent videos will explain each step of the process.